This is a, a beautiful photograph. So it's a photograph from the James Webb Space Telescope. And it's a tiny piece of sky that's much smaller than a full moon. So you imagine this photograph with a tiny piece of sky. It's a few arc seconds of the Yeah, moon. just tiny. And in there, almost everything, apart from that, you can see a star-like object at the top, which is a star in the Milky Way galaxy, because we're looking out through the galaxy to the distant universe. But everything else in that photograph is a galaxy. So, the, so all those things are roughly the size of the Milky Way with the 400 billion suns. There are something like 10,000 galaxies in that single image. When the James Webb Space Telescope first turned its golden mirrors toward the dawn of time, no one expected what it would find. Six enormous galaxies, each as much as 10 times larger than our Milky Way, appeared less than half a billion years after the Big Bang. That discovery sent a shiver through the scientific community. These giants shouldn't exist. Not that early, not that fast. It was as if Webb had peeked behind the curtain of the universe and revealed a stage set we weren't meant to see. The questions came rushing in like a flood. What if the most advanced telescope ever built had just broken the rules of cosmology? What if the universe isn't playing by the laws we've written into textbooks for a century? For decades, scientists had relied on carefully crafted models, neat equations, and predictable timelines. But now, Webb's revelations hinted at a cosmos far stranger, one that refuses to stay inside the lines we've drawn. Conversations in observatories and conference halls have turned electric. Ideas that once sounded absurd are suddenly on the table. Could the Big Bang have been more complicated than a single clean beginning? Could the galaxy's web is exposed mean that the very story of how existence unfolded must be rewritten? Scientists find themselves at a crossroads, equal parts exhilarated and unsettled knowing they may be standing at the edge of a paradigm shift. Even in its first few months, Webb was full of surprises. Its powerful infrared gaze pierced through cosmic fog, lifting the veil on epochs that had only been theory until now. Instead of finding small, chaotic, baby galaxies slowly taking shape after the Big Bang, Webb spotted massive, mature galaxies already in place. They looked eerily familiar, more like present-day galactic systems than the fragile seeds of a young universe. Then came the latest shock. A team led by Pablo Perez Gonzalez at the Center for Astrobiology in Madrid reported nine mysterious points of light glimmering at the very edge of the observable cosmos. Six of them sit at a redshift of 17, and three stretch to a staggering redshift of 25. For non-astronomers, redshift is a measure of how much light has been stretched by the expansion of the universe. The higher the redshift, the farther back in time we are peering. Redshift 17 means light from just 200 million years after the Big Bang. Redshift 25? That's only a hundred million years into cosmic history. To put this in perspective, our models tell us that a hundred million years after the Big Bang was a cosmic no-man's land, a time astronomers call the Dark Ages. Back then, the universe should have been a silent void. After the explosive birth of space and time, all that existed was a blistering plasma of particles. It took hundreds of thousands of years to cool enough to form atoms, and at least another hundred million before the first stars could flicker to life. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy. Nothing should have been shining. Nothing. And yet, Webb's cameras captured brilliant light blazing from that supposedly starless darkness. These aren't ordinary galaxies, and they aren't ordinary stars. According to our best models, they shouldn't be visible at all. 
which leaves us with the question that has left astronomers wide-eyed and restless. What on Earth, or rather, what in the universe, are they? One hypothesis is beginning to gain traction, and it's as wild as it is intriguing. What if these objects are primordial black holes? Unlike the black holes we know today, which are the corpses of collapsed stars, primordial black holes could have formed directly out of the extreme densities of the newborn cosmos. If true, they could explain the puzzling luminosity Webb has detected at redshift 17 and 25. As astrophysicist Andrea Ferrara of Pisa has argued, if stars cannot explain this brightness, then something else must be driving it. Perhaps hidden in the glow of the early universe, we're finally glimpsing the fingerprints of those ancient engines. Primordial black holes may be the only explanation left on the table. And if that's true, the consequences are staggering. Decades ago, Stephen Hawking suggested that these ancient black holes weren't just relics of the cosmos. They might be bridges. In his daring vision, the information falling into a black hole isn't destroyed, but carried somewhere else. If Webb is truly seeing primordial black holes, we may be staring at more than the fossils of our universe's birth. We may be holding the first hints that other universes exist. Yet the surprises don't end there. Astronomers have stumbled across a new class of objects, tiny glowing enigmas they call little red dots. At first, everyone assumed they were simply galaxies, compact and unremarkable. But deeper observations broke that assumption. They don't behave like galaxies at all. Something far stranger might be happening. A radical idea has emerged. These little red dots could be black hole stars. Imagine a colossal star collapsing under its own weight. A black hole forms at the core, but instead of swallowing the star outright, the outer layers remain intact. What's left is a bizarre hybrid, a star wrapped around a black hole, radiating immense energy before its inevitable collapse. If true, Webb has captured a cosmic stage that was once thought impossible to witness, a fleeting moment in the evolution of the universe itself. And the unsettling discoveries keep coming. Webb's deep gaze has hinted at something even more profound. The possibility that the expansion of the universe may not be accelerating endlessly after all. For decades, astronomers were convinced dark energy was driving galaxies apart at faster and faster speeds. But Webb's measurements suggest a more complicated story. Regions of the universe expanding at different rates. Dark energy behaving as if it were uneven, fractured. If this trend holds, the expansion could one day stall and reverse dragging everything back into a catastrophic big crunch. The universe, born in fire, might end by collapsing into itself. Even before Webb launched, cosmologists were already wrestling with cracks in their models. The Hubble tension showed the local universe expanding faster than early universe measurements predict. The S8 tension revealed galaxies clustering less tightly than expected. These weren't small inconsistencies, they were growing headaches. Now Webb has sharpened the picture, turning doubts into unavoidable confrontations with reality. And then, just when scientists thought it couldn't get any stranger, Webb revealed perhaps the most mind-bending clue of all. By analyzing the spin of over 30,000 galaxies, astronomers found a shocking pattern. Most of them rotate in the same direction. According to the Big Bang model, the early universe should have been chaotic, galaxies spinning every which way. But Webb's data shows otherwise. Even more astonishing, the further back astronomers look, the stronger this alignment becomes. Which leaves us with an idea so bold it almost defies belief. What if the universe itself is spinning? 
not the galaxies within it, but the fabric of the cosmos as a whole. If true, this challenges the very assumption that the universe is uniform and directionless. It suggests a hidden structure, a cosmic rotation stitched into reality from the beginning. And that possibility leads to an even more radical thought, one whispered in theoretical circles for years. What if our entire universe is the inside of a black hole? The theory unfolds like this. Instead of erupting outward from a single point of infinite density in a clean, pristine Big Bang, our universe may have been born inside the event horizon of a massive black hole that formed in some greater, hidden reality. To us, the event horizon of that black hole appears as the edge of the cosmos, the ultimate boundary beyond which no light, no signal, no whisper of information can ever escape. Everything we know, every star, every galaxy, every particle of light is trapped in this cosmic prison. Beyond its walls, in a realm forever hidden from our instruments, could lie the parent universe that collapsed and gave birth to our own. If true, then we are not the children of an explosion from nothing, but the descendants of a collapse, life inside a reborn black hole turned universe. Researchers at the University of Portsmouth have recently lent their voices to this astonishing idea. They suggest our cosmos may not have emerged from an inexplicable singularity at all, but from the death of another universe. In that greater reality, matter collapsed under its own crushing gravity, space-time curved to its breaking point, and then, like a cosmic heartbeat, rebounded outward. The so-called Big Bang, then, may not have been the beginning of everything, but just a bounce, a single chapter in a far larger cosmic cycle. The mystery of a singular, abrupt birth gives way to an eternal chain of cause and effect, universes collapsing, universes reborn. But if that is true, the foundations of modern cosmology begin to fracture. Dark matter, once revered as the invisible scaffolding of the cosmos, is under siege. Dark energy, the ghostly force thought to drive eternal expansion, may not be constant at all. It could vary, twist, even fail. The Big Bang itself, the most iconic event in science, may not be a beginning, but a transition. And even the cosmic microwave background, the faint glow we have long treated as the leftover light of creation, may be something else entirely, a misunderstood echo of a much larger process. Each time Webb peers deeper into the abyss, the story only grows stranger. Instead of closing old mysteries, it cracks open new ones. Instead of giving us clarity, it gives us cliffhangers. The universe is no longer a neat and ordered tale. It's a sprawling, unfinished epic, riddled with contradictions. We are left at a turning point. The cosmos we thought we understood is dissolving before our eyes. Dark matter may not be what we imagined. Dark energy may not be eternal. The Big Bang may not even be the beginning. The deeper we look, the more the universe slips through our fingers.